Hi, this video we're going to show you about new KVM and the video over IP system. So here we have the setup. Basically, right now you can see we have a two byte video wall, and here we have one monitor which I will be using as the uh, workstation. And on this side, I have a PC which I just use it for the uh, programming and controlling everything. And this one is as my input source one, and this is the input source two. So input source one, I have a USB and a HDMI cable connect to the uh, transmitter here. And this, the Apple TV, basically only in the HDMI. So here's the uh, PoE NAS switch. And on that switch, basically we can see here we have the uh, four receivers here and two transmitters here. And uh, on the back side, we can check out, actually this unit is actually the same unit. We call it all-in-one. So basically, if you want to use as the uh, transmitter or receiver, we just need to do is use this deep switch here. So if you want to use as the uh, receiver, then we just dial up as the receiver. And this one we just dial down as the uh, transmitter here. And this is the two transmitter, so we just use the PoE and we don't need to use the uh, power adapter for the power supply here. Both transmitter and receiver are the same. So for HDMI output to this 2x2 two two TV over here. And uh, on this side, I got a Netgear Wi-Fi router. So later I can just use the tablet to control the system. So this is the setup and uh, this AV of IP. And basically right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the, uh, show about the workstation here. So for the workstation, basically uh, it's actually also a receiver unit. So on this receiver, I have an HDMI cable connect to this monitor here, then a cable MLC. So basically with this workstation, I can connect to the uh, two input source for the switching, but for the laptop, I can use the mouse to control directly. So the thing is here, I, I have the uh, workstation and I just need to uh, triple press the control button so I, I can get the login interface here. So basically I just uh, enter the username, admin, and I use the tab button here. And then the password is admin, one, two, three, press enter. So now we're already logging this one. I will just zoom a little bit. So now I'm going to use this workstation for the uh, controlling. And I, right now you can see we can move the mouse. So if you want to control this source, we just double click. It will full screen and we've already control that PC. So we can check out. So basically right now I'm controlling that PC. And I can just uh, turn out any tabs here. Okay. So when I in the full screen, this is called KVM station mode. Basically if I want to switch the uh, different source, I can just use the hotkey. So switch to the second source, country plus two. Switch the second source, which is from the Apple TV box. And country plus one, back to the previous source. Plus two, and I got the source. Can add identify. Do the controlling. Okay, so this is the uh, workstation mode. If I want to exit, I just tap the uh, EXC, uh, triple. Press the country button again. So now actually back to the uh, KVM station, but also can just uh, triple press L button. Uh, so we need to exit, exit first. Now we can triple press the L button. Now we're actually in the uh, video wall mode, which we can just push the contents to the uh, video wall. And here we have the uh, preview source on the, uh, on the top. Corner, so we can just drag the source down here. So we got the uh, open the window here. But for the open the window, we have like different ways. Like this one is actually full screen. So once we drag down a source, it will just show as a full screen. And this one is just show as the uh, light like one screen, full screen. We'll just clear the contents first. This is the background image. So if we choose this one, we can just drag down the source. We're just only like one screen, full screen, not the whole video or whole screen, full screen. Okay. So this uh, uh, 
the video wall and we also can use the free style to open the window at any position like right now we actually have one window uh, just overlap on any of the screen i uh, can open more windows with this 4k 30 version we actually can open up to uh, 16 windows per screen we also can adjust the uh, the window size just by simply uh, move the window here so we can we can check out we just move it here it will be easy to check out okay right move to a very little uh, screen window so this one is just the free style we also can just save as the presets so we just click the button here save now we can just record the uh, centers the presets which we just saved earlier and a different center the center we just saved a different one okay so this is the uh, the video wall mode and uh, if you want to just uh, actually it's the same we just uh, trip back then to the uh, KVM mode double click now we can just do the controlling okay so this is the workstation which we can control the input source to this monitor, but we also can push the contents uh, to the video wall and the video wall can do like the picture in picture across screen or overlap and presets, everything here. Okay, so this is the workstation. Now I'm going to show you about the uh, country software and also the UI designer. And um, basically right now we, once we, we can exit So we're just logging. So this interface, we actually can design by ourselves as long as we can just use this uh, UI designer. So this is our uh, UI designer. So basically we can just design the uh, interface. Like right now we have the video wall here. It's actually a two by two. If you wanna have a different one, we can just double click. Then we can do the uh, design here. So we'll just do a one by two. So this is used like uh, one by two. If we want to have these two screen as a one by two video, wall, we can just click the so we'll just click the uh, address on this side, and basically we can check out. Right now we have this screen, and uh, now it's not this one. So we we'll just click another one. It's also not this one. Okay, so that screen means it's going to be fit this box. Because we want to create these two screens as a one by two video. Okay, so we just have this one, click this screen. So I have this two, uh, this IP bound with this uh, monitor here. So this one, and this one is showing that one. That means we have this IP address. We just click this window as well. So now we already created a one by two video. Now the next step, we just upload, upload directly here, and uh, we will. Uh, just cover the previous setup. And we can just back to the uh, UI design if we want to change a different picture, and we can just do it from here. Okay. Uh, we also can just change this one from the uh, design here. We just show a different picture. Okay, let's just try this one. Okay, so we just upload a uh, customized a different uh, wallpaper. And also the KVM workstation as well. And if you want to change a different one, we can just uh, do design here. So after we've done all the designing, we just upload, then we can have a different uh, UI. So here I will just take my example. And uh, this is the uh, PC client country software. And we can just check out. Okay, let's just log in first. Exit first. Exit program, then we just log in. So here's the control software. Okay, this is the uh, login interface. And we don't need the server in this uh, system. We just can log in directly. The IP address is the country PC and the username and the password, which we just designed in the UI designer. So we just click OK button and we can log in. So after we log in, basically we can see it's actually the same content at the video wall. So now we can do, we can just start to do the uh, controllings. Okay, the same, we just clear all the uh, contents. And then we just drag the input one. It's actually showing as a double click to full screen and drag the second source, double click full screen. 
So we can have like the uh, scoring test, and uh, if we want to shoot the scoring test, we just do it here. Uh, here we have the scoring test. So let's just try it as a test. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we can set up the the fonts, real black, and uh, we'll just use a, a larger. Okay, so it's good. Let's apply. So now we can see we already got the screen test on the uh, top of the video wall. And this is the uh, source preview and we also have some other functions just similar as the uh, workstation video wall country. And this one is for the window like free and that means we can open the uh, screens freely. Okay, we'll just clear the contents first. Okay, open the first one, second one, another one. One more screen, one more screen. Okay, so this is the uh, free style for open the windows on the video. We also can just have the uh, presets uh, preview the layouts before we push to the video wall. So we just hit this button. Once we have this one, we just set up to a, a full screen for the whole video wall. So we just drag the source here. It's actually what is showing as a full screen on the software, but it's actually not showing on the video wall. So this one we call it layout preview function. If I have this, or we 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 have want to have this one, it's okay. Then we can just push the contents. Then we just hit this push button here. Then we can have it full screen. Okay. So this function just uh, help us to avoid the mistakes and if we didn't use this uh, layout preview we just drag the source to the video wall. okay so for the pc control software we still have another we will have another uh we call it software kvm that means we as long as we have like a pc and hdmi with the usb cable connected to the transmitter then we can just from the software to control it directly so we just double click the source and here shows the uh a mouse, an arrow here, so we just click this one. Now we can control this PC directly from this uh, control software. Right now we just identify and right, we can see that. Okay, so just scroll down and we'll just turn on the uh, PDFL. So this is actually the control software, this is the uh, input source. And now we just uh, cancel it if we didn't want to control it. Okay, we we'll just control it. We're we'll just back to the uh, video wall and let's go to test. And this one is to refresh. And this one is to clear the contents. I'll click OK button. And this is the background image of the video wall. And now we have the uh, user here and the maximum, max minimize the uh, software. Okay, this is the uh, PC software country and also the UI design. And we have another software which is for the uh, transmitter and receiver, including the resolution setting and uh, the name, and also the IP address, everything setting. We will have another software. So basically, for this system, we will have uh, three different softwares. And the first one we use to set up the transmitter and receiver IP address, name, and uh, IP address and the second one we just use to design the uh, country UI interface and the last one is going to be this one this one we call it uh, Windows PC control software and also the uh, Android application so here we already have the Wi-Fi connect uh, router connect to the system and now we just bring an uh, Android tablet let's check out how it works Okay, so the, uh, we will first step, we just need to make sure and we have this uh, tablet connected to the Wi-Fi router. And uh, right now I already have it connected. So we just found the application uh, IPX. Okay, so we don't need the server IP and it's the default IP of this tablet. And the username, password, then we just click OK button. Okay, so after it's logging, right now we can check out, it's actually the same as the uh, Windows PC control software. So now we're going to do, we're going to just uh, do the controllings, like we just drag a source to the video wall. 
Okay, it's already uh, shoots here. We just double click to make it a full screen. We also can change the uh, the ways of drag the source here, down here. Can check out. It's actually pretty fast. Okay, this is the for the uh, source switching. And we also can just do as the same as the uh, Windows PC. We can just preview layouts first. Okay, so right now we are actually already have this contents on the application, but not on the video wall. So we need to press this button to push. Okay, so this one is the same uh, layouts preview function. And uh, so this uh, uh, this app, we also can do the. Uh, Preset save and recall. We can uh, change the name here and delay it or do the uh, sending cycling. We can just double click to apply the uh, presets. Can check out. Okay, so if you want to do the uh, cycling, we just select the presets and we do the cycling here. Okay, so here we just put it as uh, five seconds. Okay, let's check out. Okay, it's already uh, automatically start switching the presets. Okay, so we'll just uh, close the cycling and the cancel. I can just do the uh, controllings. Uh, we also can do like the uh, soft KVM. Uh, that means because the input source is my laptop, I have the USB and HDMI both connect to the transmitter. So just double click the source. Here we have an arrow here. So click this arrow. Right now we can do the uh, controls. Check out. Right, the source is actually happening on the PC. And uh, change it different country. Identify screen back to the uh, PDF. Okay, so this will call it software country. If we didn't want it, we'll just click cancel. So let's make it a full screen. Okay, thank you.